so let's get this straight we are in the times where great wars would take place Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala would send someone that hope would be Al Mahdi and, and we have to look for that person all of the signs of that person to appear have been completed there is one person there is one person with these signs and his name is the whole Muslim Ummah is in distress we are uh, we, we are living in the era where Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam told us huge wars will take place al malhamatul kubra is just around the corner so let's get this straight we are in the times where great wars would take place and what would happen when great wars would take place you know when Muslims are in their worst condition and great wars are just around the cor corner Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala would send someone and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala would bring some hope for the Muslim Ummah that hope would be Al Mahdi he would be a simple normal human being a normal Muslim from the lineage of Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wasallam and his name would be Muhammad and his father's name would be like the name of the father of Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wasallam the Mahdi will revive Islam and create one Ummah and will combine all of the sections in the countries and all of the different uh, categories and groups of Ummah into one Ummah and the Mahdi will establish one Khilafa from Pakistan all the way to Jerusalem and the Mahdi must have born already so we have to look for that person he would take oath sitting with the wall of Kaaba but would he be an Arab not necessarily because there are clear ahadith of Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam which state Wailulil Arab so, so look where would the Mahdi appear from then An Subanin radiallahu ta'ala anhu qal qal rasulullahi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam when the three brothers fight over khilafa then the black signs rayatu sud black visuals would arise from the east and even if you have to go skidding on the snow you must show your allegiance with them because there would be Mahdi within them so Mahdi has to be in the east we have to look for him in the east what lies in the east that is Pakistan Afghanistan so we are looking for someone named Muhammad bin Abdullah and that someone must be uh, Hashimi or Sayyid uh, meaning he must be from the lineage of Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and there must be something to identify him he must have some sign from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that only the ones Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala would give a special vision would be able to see and identify there is one person there is one person with these signs this is my own research about that person this is my research about that person and I think that the Mahdi could be Muhammad Qasim there are a lot of signs that fall true on him there are still some signs that do not fall true on him so I can say that he's a very 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 solid candidate for Mahdi number one his name is Muhammad Qasim so his first name is Muhammad uh, his father's name was Abdul Karim meaning he is the servant of Allah Abdul Karim servant of Allah uh, the father of uh, Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam Abdullah the servant of Allah Muhammad Qasim is Muhammad bin Abdul Karim or you can say simply Muhammad bin Abdullah his caste is Hashmi that's what the family writes and uh, you can also call him Sayyid so this is quite certain that their lineage is uh, also from uh, Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam another sign of Mahdi uh, that I already said that he would appear from the east and he's 
in the east he is from pakistan and uh, the prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam said that his nose would be tall and his uh, forehead would be broad we could identify him from and in the case of muhammad qasim he does hear allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's voice in his dreams also he has seen uh, prophet muhammad the final prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam uh, several hundred times in it, in his dreams the message he receives from allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and uh, prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam in his dreams is that muslims must eradicate must get rid of all forms of shirk you see all of the dajjals all of the liars that have claimed themselves as mahdi missed this point that all of the prophets that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala sent on this earth were sent to eradicate shirk because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala can forgive anything except shirk and Muhammad Qasim is not claiming prophet he is explicitly exclusively said clearly said that he is not a prophet he is not claiming a prophet in any case whatsoever the most important sign and this is also the one that all of the Dajjals and and all of the liars before have missed and that is that the Mahdi would be someone who would hate who would not like to be the Mahdi and the people would take oath from him by force and until the last point he would keep on denying keep on trying to run away from the responsibility and all of the Dajjals because they were in a rush they were in a hurry to to gain the benefits of this world all of the Dajjals and all of the Kazabs and all of the liars before have claimed Mahdi themselves and you know this is me talking and I think Muhammad Qasim could be Mahdi but if you hear from Muhammad Qasim he has been saying for past several years that he is not the Mahdi and he will not claim Mahdi ever this is a very solid point uh, also uh, Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wasallam said in in a Sahih Hadith that uh, nothing uh, out of the signs and the powers of Nabuwa is left uh, apart from uh, the blessed or true dreams that a mu'min sees for himself or someone uh, some other mu'min sees for him also prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam said that whoever has seen me sallallahu alaihi wasallam in a dream he has seen me because the Satan cannot take my shape and this is important and understand it very clearly if you or someone else has really seen Prophet Muhammad in his dream then you do not need anyone else approval for that because this is a domain that has been guaranteed by Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam himself that the Satan cannot take his shape and when something is guaranteed it is guaranteed it is a source of information it is a source of solid signal from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for that matter you would have to look for Muhammad Qasim's uh, content on YouTube and on the internet and you would have to find out what exactly is his content and what is the message that is that he is receiving from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and uh, and and uh, the last prophet the prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam through dreams and last but not least that the dreams have a solid and a very strong position in Sharia and uh, look at the dreams of Muhammad Qasim uh, look at the content of Muhammad Qasim on YouTube uh, and the channel is uh, youtube.com slash Muhammad Qasim PK and uh, his official website is Muhammad Qasim PK.com I hope I made a solid point and you would think over it you would consider it and seek guidance from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to guide us to the right path and to to make us meet 
the true Mahdi, whoever he is, and make us among the army of Mahdi and among the armies who would fight the Jal and among the armies who would be with. Uh, Hazrat Isa alayhi salam, uh, uh, Prophet Isa alayhi salam, who would come as an Ummati uh, after the appearance of uh, Dajjal. Allahumma arina al haqqa haqqa warzukna tiba'a warina al batila batila warzukna shtinaba. Allahumma ja'alna min al salihin waja'alna min al awabin waja'alna min al zahidin waja'alna min ashab al mahdi waja'alna min ashab Isa Isa ibn Maryam. عليهم الصلاة والسلام السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته